UFC welterweight division matchup. This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkoff of this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts to show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, D.C. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Or tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce this Buck. fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, the Enforcer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So he lost his last fight by devastating knockout. So the question beckons as round one gets underway here. Can he regain the momentum that saw him vault into contention not all that long ago? A lot of people believe he can. We will find out here in short order. Oh, big knee there. Oh, beautiful level change. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Big call from Crush Land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Big punch from the Prince. And there comes the separation now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Ooh, what a punch. One, two there by Ahmed. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Him to the mat now. We'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta oh. like that. Slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. 
Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Ahmedov's has got full mount now. Fighters back to their feet here. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whipping like this, it only exhausts you. Because every moment you try to throw to knock the opponent out, you're just catching there. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> and both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in a single call up now. Gets another takedown. That's been there all night. Nice kick. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, straight right. And a knee. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Liver kick. And he landed the right hand there. Back and forth we go. Oh, huge elbow there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to nice take out land. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Got the single collar tie. Oh, oh, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Fusion Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, he's really oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Another big take. And he gets the takedown. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out the space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the astronaut. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, Actually has to right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. 
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, CC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also... Oh, shoot, sure, Jason! Work here, staying busy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. but barely, look how wobbly he is. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many bucks. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control, he's got a ton of options. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language, perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Both fighters get up now. Oh, massive slam, that'll change the complexion of this one. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Flush right hand is true. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 46 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. Get one of those new strawberry and banana smoothies. What did you say? Hi, beautiful. <sighs> Megan. I'm sorry, David. We make them fresh every time with real fruit. No problem, John. The new real fruit smoothies and frappes. Come and get it at Burger King.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Martial artist mm. at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Everyone mm. talks about him being all round. It's mm. unbelievable to watch a guy that can do mm. everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. It makes him a hard guy to be careful. former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger, Alexander Gustafson. There was some retirement talk a few years ago, but he seems to have his head screwed on right now. Came back with that huge knockout of Glover Teixeira not all that long ago that many argue was the best performance of his UFC career. Yes, and I'm glad that Alexander Gustafson is still here. Yeah. Because why would you leave when you still are so valuable to everything that happens in the UFC light heavyweight division? A very, very skilled striker underrated wrestling has scored takedown on some of the best wrestlers the UFC light heavyweight division has ever seen. Tall, big, great cardio, a fantastic fighter is Alexander Gustafson. And he's going to hang around at least long enough to realize a third crack at that elusive UFC light heavyweight title. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Gustafson is six years his senior. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 190 pounds. El Presidente. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. to follow as we get ready for round one here. Brutal knockout his last time out, and that positioned him for this opportunity here tonight. So, can he keep the momentum going as the challenges get stiffer, keep the winning streak intact, and of course try to get another win by knockouts to take his popularity soaring to another level. Stands a big right hand early. Kill on that leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Finish could come at any time. Shoot right here. Oh, call is high. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, you got defended. Set up your attack, Jim. Oh, oh, this fight could be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Oh, he possibly. 
postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Both fighters get up now. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then lands a beautiful punch. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Gustafson gets caught with that right, punch. So now we're on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here now. Offense from the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills in this ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Big punch lands over the top. How's he just follow him? Man, he's just got a great huge elbow there. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Seconds now in round one. Oh! Round two winding down. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding Good. forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, round two. Strike blocked by Alexander Gustafson. Oh, big head kick there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Straight right is there. He lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Beautiful kick. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 34 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by knockout, El Presidente. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win yeah. tonight. He's only half the I mean, I'm heading over there right now. I'm asking the producers. How soon can I get up? It's going to be a party in there. Not only for the knockout, but that extra bonus check should carry to the club tonight.